In this video, we are comparing a collector grade model to that of a premium Hot Wheels model. Both are AE86s. And let's see if the premium model does a little bit better than their main line starting right now. Here we are again with Hot Wheels versus a collector grade model. Now, if you've been paying attention to my channel, I actually did a Hot Wheels versus collector grade model with Tommy Tech. And if you're interested in that video, you can actually find it right there. For this video, we've got a premium Hot Wheel, NO64, same car, so should make for a great comparison. But let's begin with the presentation and box art. So with the Hot Wheels, you're gonna get the same type of presentation. However, this cardboard is a little bit bigger than the standard mainline stuff. Really cool graphics on the cardboard. The artwork is cool. Uh, this is part of the Hot Wheels Car Culture Slide Street series. There's a total of five, and this is number three. Um, you can see the other variations here. And for Inno models, those that are not familiar, it's gonna come in this nice acrylic case, plastic base, screwed down, really cool presentation window. I love the black and white artwork. Since we've got this like this, you'll also notice that on the box, this is gonna be three and up. Whereas for collector grade, you are looking at 14 and up. So it is on the box art, but let's rip them out. So for the Hot Wheels, I just skipped past my aggressive way of taking them out of the clamshell, but here is the Hot Wheels. For the NO64, all you do is you take off the plastic slip and then you just slide it out. And then something cool about this guy that uh, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat since we're here is that, look at that. It comes with an extra set of nice wheels. And in this case, these look like those famous Watanabes uh, that are always on these cars. So it comes with axles, four wheels so that you can actually interchange them. And if you wanna check out a video where I show you how to put those on these cars, you can check it out right there. Here we go, this one's open. I'll put the wheels to the side. Here we go, that one's open. But let me take this off its base as well. Okay guys, we've got them both out and free. <laughs> So what are we looking at here? We are looking at the Toyota AE86. Pretty dang popular amongst JDM fans, collectors, Initial D, and everything else in between. But looking at the aesthetics of the car, you can see the cool TRD livery and stripes that's on the Hot Wheels premium version. I love that they did that. The graphics are pretty sweet on there. They've got some sponsorship logos here and everything. So really well done on that one. But guys, this one is gonna be more of an OEM standard black white panda type of setup. Uh, that's why it's got the black carbon fiber hood here, black tidbits, polished wheels with the black centers, things like that. The setup for this one is gonna be different without delivery. However, I've seen other versions of livery versions of this as well that does exist. Going by the scale, both claim to be 64 scale. However, you can definitely tell that the Hot Wheels is gonna be a little bit larger. So even though this is a premium collection, the scale size is gonna be larger. I've done a video on the mainline version of a Hot Wheel and it was about the same. Going to the front of the vehicle, I immediately noticed the plastic inserts for the headlights there. Both are popped up, which is pretty, pretty cool. They're not put down. So pop-up headlights, any pop-up headlight lovers out there, let me know down in the comments below. Obviously for the Hot Wheels again, guys, unfortunately we are using stickers. That's gonna go for the headlight fog lights at the bottom as well. However, the Inno doesn't have fog lights, probably because of this front lip that actually probably deletes the fog lights. But even for the turn signal, guys, you can see right here that it's got a plastic insert, whereas here it's just a, looks like paint, uh, might be a sticker too. Both have front license plates, pretty neat. This one's got the TRD. I like this one because it's got the JDM license plate, just gives it that extra JDM touch. And then for the hood, as mentioned, you're gonna get the carbon fiber bonnet here with washer nozzles, standard hood here, no washer nozzles. And you can see some of the hood line details right here as well, where on the premium, you're not gonna see those things. 
on the side. Let's go. You can see that size difference again, especially with that rear quarter mirror, just the longer body. But okay, cool thing with the Hot Wheels Premium that you're gonna get, you're gonna get nice rubber tires. And not only that, the wheels look a lot better. They're not your staple plastic simplistic design. These actually have some dish to them. This looks like it's stock rock in a four spoke type wheel. On the NO64, you've got some nice polished wheels with black centers, rubber tires as well. And another cool detail with the rubber tire, you can see actually see tread on them. Whereas on the Hot Wheels, you don't see tread details like that. Door handles, side view mirror guys, that's good. They got side view mirror on both. You can see that the side view mirror is a lot more detailed. It comes off the car, whereas this is just part of the cast. Something to notice guys that I've mentioned before, you see this black trim around the windows. This one doesn't have it, but that just gives it some extra realism, extra detail. Same for the front windshield. You can see it there, but those types of details is what makes it look even more realistic, guys. We've also got the side skirt here. No side skirt on this guy. Pretty bare. And now let's move on to the back. For the back, guys, same thing going on here. We've got stickers and decals for the premium Hot Wheel, and we've got plastic inserts and color variations for the tail lights. No spoiler on this guy. I love the riveted spoiler on this guy. JDM plate, TRD, Hot Wheels plate. It's got some logos there for the car, which is nice detail because this one doesn't. Uh, on the back windshield, you'll see the wiper and you'll see the defrost, whereas on the Hot premium, you're not gonna see any of those details. And then moving on to the exhaust side, rear bumper, pretty simple for the premium, pretty detailed for the NO64. The exhaust, you'll see it's colored, got some nice detail to it. Whereas on the premium, gonna be a bit more basic and part of the base cast. And then driver side, because these are right hand drive, JDM mad tight. We've got some interior details. Pretty cool on the premium. They've got a bucket seat in there, a one seater. Uh, on the NO64, there's two bucket seats in there. The details for the steering wheel, looking pretty plain, just a piece of round plastic. However, on the NO64, you're gonna get an actual spoke design, which is pretty nice. They've got that extra level of detail. And one of the biggest advantages of a Hot Wheel is that what? It rolls. Check that out. Unfortunately, NO64 does not roll. However, with some modifications, you can make it roll. So that's one big advantage for the premium. <laughs> So as far as price goes, here we go. You ready? Inno 64 is gonna come in at around 20 bucks to $23. That comes with the car, the case, the extra set of wheels. And for the premium Hot Wheels car culture, I believe those are actually around the six to $7 range now. I wanna say there was a recent price increase for those. I'm pretty sure they used to be $5 back in the day. Question of the day for you. What did you think about the details when it comes to comparing the Hot Wheels Premium line to the Ido 64 collector grade version. Obviously, the Hot Wheels Premium line is a little bit better than their main line, so it definitely parred a lot better this go around than versus its main line counterpart. But let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about these two. If you found this video useful, there's plenty of other videos in the next slide. Share them with your friends, share them with other collectors, and I will see you in those videos or my next video.